Like that movie, Touch of Evil. I got the Orson Welles. All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. I'm your host, Mark Pierce. It's Wednesday Wanderlust Wednesday here in the cave, where we like to throw something at you that maybe you've never heard before, or something you haven't heard from in a long time, or a deep cut, that kind of thing. Uh, and today we're going to uh, do a little bit of a sidetrack of something a little bit different. Someone said to me uh, recently, Mark, is there any music you don't like? And yes, there is plenty of music I don't like. I just am not Mr. Negativity, although I could do an episode about things that I don't care for. And that's the way I put it. I don't care for that. Or I have a difficult relationship with some bands. That's true. I could do that one where I dislike a few of their songs, but not a lot of them or something like that. But anyway... Uh, some of those of you who know me, I just, I am not a fan of country music, uh, but I do dip my toes in that, that, in that water just a little bit. And some people say, Mark, if you like this, how can you not like that? And that's true. I admit it. But, uh, I, I only know I like it when I hear it. And what I've learned is that what I really like is more what they would call Americana music. More of that folk rock music or that Austin, Texas sound. Huge Guy Clark fan. Huge Towns Van Zant fan, for instance. We've covered them in the cave a lot. Big fan. I can't explain the other stuff, but uh, anyway, that's just the way it is. And I was, as I said, I've been digging into my old playlists. And uh, this song came on and I was like, oh, it's time to do it. Uh, and uh, we're talking about Tom Russell. This guy, it's funny, you look him up. He's either 74 or 75 years old. Uh, that, that's, that's the way it should be. Keep it a mystery, you know. He might be. We're not sure. Uh, but he's still alive. Born in L.A., this guy, uh, he, uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, and um, he's put out 29 albums. Let's put it that, that way. Uh, he's been on David Letterman like five times. So maybe some of you know Tom Russell. Folk, rock, cowboy music they call it but uh, really a pioneer in americana music singer guitar player painter writer born in la lived in vancouver nigeria spain norway and then texas in 1975 where he started singing songs and uh or started uh, writing songs and getting a little more popular 1979 uh, really, what they say is his greatest song, Gallo de Cielo. I'm not going to say it right. Gallo de Cielo. I'm not familiar with it, so I got to go listen to it. Because I, I did a little bit of reading about him ahead of time. But Bob Dylan loves that song. Bruce Springsteen loved that song. I got I to play it. Uh, 84 to 94, he was in the Tom Russell Band. Put out four records. That's the four records that they say is a pioneer for Americana music. 1999, he put out a folk opera, the equivalent of The Who's Tommy or Queensryche's Operation Mindcrime, The Man from God Knows Where. It's an it's a opera about the story of his ancestors and following them. 2001, he put out Borderland, which is uh, about life on both sides of you know, Texas and Mexico. And it's a Texas-Mexican blend of music. Tex-Mex, if you will. We'll get back to that in a second. Uh, but uh, what do you guys think? Americana music? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan. And uh, I think it's worth listening to. And I can't say I'm an expert on Tom Russell. I don't know a lot of his music. Uh, and he's got 29 albums. So there's plenty of people out there who probably know a lot more than I do. Chime in. Uh, but to get to what we need to talk about, we're going to that 2001 Borderland CD and the particular song called The Touch of Evil. Touch of Evil, film noir. Orson Welles' film from 1958, introduced to me by the late Jeff Hayes in film noir. I've got a box set of film noir around here somewhere. I love that stuff. But uh, this movie, Orson Welles, written, directed, starred in it. Charlton Heston, Janet Lee, Marlene Dietrich, a cameo from... Orson's friend, Zsa Zsa Gabor. Says it all right there. I became obsessed with this movie when Jeff introduced it to me. So good. And this movie poster, twenty over 23 years ago, I came across this movie poster and I was like, what, a French movie poster of Touch of Evil? La Soif du Mal? I must have it. In the time, I paid a lot of money for it. I mean, I think it was $75. But for me, that was a lot of money at the time. And uh, it's great. Uh, what this, what's this movie famous for? Well, it's... 
famous for the opening scene, the longest pan shot ever made. It's a it's almost a three and a half minute opening scene where a bomb is planted in a car and you hear the ticking music and it's like Orson Welles and you can just and it's just one shot through the town as this tension builds. And that never been done before. It's filmed in Venice, California. And uh, low angles, deep focus. No one had ever done the deep focus thing. Uh, Orson Welles was fired at the end of this for his vision. And Universal edited it and put it out. And he he put out a 58-page memo asking to please restore it to the way I want it. Critics, not so much liked it. Europe liked it. Over the years, over time, by the 70s, redemption, critics, people were like, wait a minute, let's take another look at this. This is pretty, this is pretty good. This is a masterpiece, one of his best works. There's even a 12-minute scene in there that was shot along one long take, kind of buried in there. 12 minutes. Uh, so this is great. You got to follow it. So anyway, the song, Touch of Evil, is based, is about life on the borderland, but it's the borderline, borderland between in a relationship. Uh, but uh, he quotes the song. He's, uh, he's saying, uh, just like Orson Welles, and he's got the Marlena Dietrich blues. And again, he quotes it. He talks about the location. He talks about the pan shot. You got to listen to the song, even if you've never seen the movie. It's a little bit of a slowdown song, but it's good. Um, it's based off a novel. This, was, this movie was based off a 1956 novel called Badge of Evil. forgot to mention that. Uh, they finally restored it to the way he wanted it to be, not until 1998. Re-edited and put together the way he wanted it. And that's the version I have on Blu-ray. Uh it's great. So now you have missions. You gotta watch a touch of evil. Have you ever even have you seen it? That's what you're doing. You've seen everything else on Netflix. You want you like film noir? Make sure you've seen that. Then you're checking out Tom Russell's song. You're gonna play it, see what you think. Song of the day, movie of the day. There you go. Bonus. Knowledge is good. Alright, whatever you're doing today, hope it involves music on Wanderlust Wednesday. It's movie and a song. Tom Russell, Touch of Evil. Love it. Have a good one, and as usual, I'll catch you on the flip side. Why do you run away and hide? You know it hurts me deep inside.